मैं मूर्ख की केचक बात है कोट पर अधी तरिया रे गुरु नानक जिन सुनिया पेखिया से फिर गर्भास न परिया रे कहा बुद्ध प्रभु तुच्छ हमारी भरन सकै महिमा जो तिहारी हम न सकत कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी मूक उच्चर शास्त्र खट पिंग गिरन चढ़ जाए अंध लख बद रो सुन जाऊ काल कृपा कराए अंध लख बद रो सुन जाओ काल कृपा कराए सतनाम वाहे गुरु साहिब जी छिज देह खुल एक गंड छिया नित दिख हो जग हंड छिज देह खुल एक गंड छिया नित दिख हो जग हंड तूप छाव जे सम कर जाने बंदन काट मुक्त कर आने छाया छुची जगत पुलाना लिखिया किरत तुरे परवाना छिज जोबन जरुआ सिरकाल काया छिज पई सिबाल छिज जोबन जरुआ सिरकाल काया छिज पई सिबाल छिज देह खुल एक गंड वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह सतगुरु जी दी साजी निवाजी साध संगत जी आप जी तन तन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी दे पावन पुत्र हजूरी अंदर कत्तर हो रहे हो तन तन श्री गुरु नानक देव जी महाराज जी दी नाम रूपे कथन नु सरवन करन वास्ते ऐसे तरह साथ संगे जी आप जी दे अत्यंत बड़े भाग हन वे ब्लेस जॉइन कोर्ट ऑफ गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी गुरु मार जी ठास बिन भागा सतसंग ना लबै बिर संगत मैल भरी जय जियो गुरु साहिब जी सही स्वास के वा गोई फॉर्च्यून बिन भागा के वड्डे भागा तो बिना साथ संग जी बिन भागा सतसंग ना लबै सतसंग दी प्राप्ति नहीं हुंदी है वी कैन नॉट गेन दिस मोमेंट व्हेन वी सिट इन द गुरुज कोर्ट व्हेन वी सिट क्लोज टू गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ संगत टू कम बैक फ्रॉम अ सिखी कैंप एज ऑल टू हैव दैट फॉर्च्यून टू स्पेंड you know three four days in the court of guru granth sahib ji maharaj to live in the same home you could say asat guru ji maharaj shuru sat sangat from amrit vele ode uthyo sohela sahib before we go to bed bin bhaga sat sang na labbe the guru is saying what great fortune this is not obtained meaning ke maybe we did something so great in our previous life or in this life or maybe a hundred lives ago who knows they were given this opportunity to spend so much time with guru granth sahib ji maharaj ji and with the sad sangat and they say ke sangat vich they say by doing sad sangat they say all that mail all that dirt that sits in our mind paave papa rupi mail sad sangat ji this dirt that we have of many sins that we committed of many many lives they say it's washed away by doing sad sangat so as he kripa hai what great blessings are obtained by that person who does sad sangat sad sangat vich baith ke listen to katha te kirtan doing vichar vichar he mean to contemplate upon what is sat and asat sat meaning what is the truth and asat meaning what is not the truth what is not going to remain and what is going to remain jive maharaj ji bachan karde han slok mal nave de vich in the ninth form of gurnan de ji maharaj ji they talk about this of what is going to remain naam rahe ho sadhu rahe ho rahe ho guru gobind 
Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji tells that the thing that will remain three things, Naam Rahil, Jo Parameshwar Vai Guru Ji Da Naam Hai, the name of God, that is always going to remain. Naam Rahil, Sadhu Rahil, those who have practiced Naam, those who have obtained Naam in their lives. Rahil Guru Gobind, the Nove Pash, she speaks to their own son, Dasve Pash, and they say that you'll remain forever. The Guru themselves, Guru Bani. So, we're so blessed to sit in the court of Guru Gansa Ji Maharaj Ji. And today we go through this prayer of Guru Nade Ji called O Ankar Bani. If you look in the Gurdka side, it comes as Dakhani O Ankar. It's one of the five prayers that Guru Sikh would read every single morning, who does Panj Granthi, the Nitinim. So, we have our general daily routine of prayers, the five prayers in the morning. We'd experience there at camps, or if you follow a Sikhi Jeevan. The way of the Khalsa, we do Japji Sahib, Jab Sahib, Savaiye, Chaupai Sahib, Phir Anand Sahib, the part. Kat, kat to kat. Minimum uh, is the Jeevan of a Khalsa. But those Guru Sikhs who go beyond that, they do Panj Granthi Danitne. In Panj Granthi, there is Sukhuni Sahib, Asa Kivar, Bhavan Akhari, Sid Ghost, Ate Dakhni Oankar. So these five prayers in total, they total, you know, about two and a half hours or three hours of extra part in the morning, Amrit Villa, ja, throughout the day, they read these different prayers. And this is one of those prayers, Dakhani O Ankar. So, Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj gives us so much Sikhya in this Bani. When they're speaking to a Pandit, and they're giving him Sikhya, this Pandit lived in a Mandar, they used to teach there. The Mandar was called O Ankar Mandar. It was in the south of India. And Guru Nanda Ji went there because a the Pandit was teaching the Panti Akhar. Panti Akhar means the 35 letters, but not in Gurmukhi, in Sanskrit. So in the Punjabi Gurmukhi alphabet, we have 35 letters, but also in the Sanskrit alphabet, there's 35 letters as well. And Guru Nandaji asks them, what does each Akhar mean? What does each letter mean that you are teaching these kids? So Guru Nandaji Maharaj is given so much Abdesh to this Pandit. And a few weeks ago when we had the Katha, Guru Maharaj spoke about the mind. The Maharaj ji said to us, Chanchala cheet na rahi thai. Chanchala cheet. Jo sada man hai saasinga ji. Sada man chanchal hai. Our mind is always fickle. It's always moving from one place to the other. Our mind does not stay in one place. Na rahi thai. Ek thaat e ni renda. It doesn't stay in one place. Chori mirga anguri khai. And it says, just like if you imagine a chor. Chor means a thief. Chori mirga anguri khai. They say, just like how, if you imagine, you imagine a deer, and it'll go into the fields and it eat the crops of another farmer's yield that he has. Jodi Mirga Anguri Kai. They say, in the same way, there's something sitting inside our mind and it's eating away at us. Pancha Satava Heduta Kavana Bidamarme. Guru Sahib is saying that these five thieves every single day. Pancha Satava Hedut. They are attacking us, everything, they're taunting us. The Guru says, Which technique, in which way, how can I destroy them? How can I stop those things from stealing from me every single day? The Guru says, Take the sharpest hour that you have. Take the sharpest hour that you have in your quiver. And what is that arrow of? It's of Nam. To focus on the Guru's name, the Guru's mantar that the Guru has given us, the Guru's mantar is Vahi Guru, and using that as our shastar, using that as our weapon, and using that to protect us from these things that sit in our mind that attack us every single day. But the Guru has made it clear to us, you may say that my mind doesn't sit still, but Guru Bani is saying the mind doesn't sit still. So it's not that we're the only ones, because a lot of times we start to panic. But one thing that we need to do is normalize a lot of things that happen in our lives. Not to say they're right. If, if we can't sit still and focus, obviously that's not great. But the point is that Guru Bani is saying that this is a fact. That we have these five things attacking us every single day. And how do we destroy them? The Guru always gives the answer. And the Guru is saying, Chanchila Chitana Rahi Thai. The mind does not sit still in one place. Chori Mirga Anguri Kai. And every single day, what happens is stealing from us. All those shobhagun, shobhagun pave, jere changhe karma se kite han, all those good actions that we have done, or we are doing, Sahasangha ji, 
they say that they are being taken away from us all the time. Wake up in the morning, we do part, we do good actions, and then what happens? We go out and we do nindya. We slander somebody else. It's like we become pure and then we put mitti on top of us again. We put this dirt on top of us again. They say that one or tare. Or tare. Or means hirda. Tare means tarnakarna to enshrine. Or tare jo antarnam. Whoever enshrines God's name inside their heart, sarab me pek hai pagavan. That one sees why Guruji in everybody. Nimakha nimakha thakur namasakare. And all the time they always do namasakar to Vai Guruji. They're always doing salutation. They're always in awe of Vai Guruji. They live in the presence of Vai Guruji. The Guru Arjan Deji says in Siri Sukhumi Sahib, Nanaka Oho Aparasa. They say, Oho, that person is Aparasa. Paras here means very simply to touch. Aparas means untouchable. Nanaka Oho Aparasa. Sagal Nisatare. They say, that person is untouchable. The one that cannot be touched by Kaam Tor Lo Mohankar Nindya, Chuglia, Chutha, Irkha These things, anger, attachment, jealousy, to slander, to gossip, to be jealous Guru Sahib says the one who has God's name inside their heart or Tare Apne Ridevich inside their heart they say Nanak Oho Aparasa, that person is untouchable Nobody can touch them Not even these Ogun no, even these bad qualities can come near that person because what do they have? Why Guruji's name. That is what is protecting them. Guru ka sabada rakhavare chauki chogirada hamare. The Guru's shabad, the Guru's words, the Guru's bani, Guru ka sabada rakhavare. It's protecting them at all times. The Guru's shabad. The Guru's shabad is real. Guru bani is real. Guru bani is around us. Guru bani is sitting inside us when we read Guru bani. Guru bani has such an effect. Even if we don't understand it. When the Sikhs came to Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji Maharaj, he said, we don't understand Guru Bani. See, Bani Paradeya, we listen to, we read Guru Bani, we listen to Guru Bani, but we don't understand Guru Bani. But Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji told them that even if you don't understand Guru Bani, it still has an effect. Just like if you take a pot and you smash that pot into little pieces and there's kyo, there's butter inside there, when the sun shines, it will shine on that kyo and it will still shine and look beautiful. In the same way, when it comes to Gurbani, it will sit inside us. When this body becomes mitti, that Gurbani will shine as well, even a shani. That's why, if you look at Siddhi Japji side of the part, the first prayer that Sikh reads, in the old tatkaras, in the old contents pages, you could say, the contents of Guru Granth Sahib Maharaji, they would write Siddhi Japji Sahib as Japanese Han. So today we say Japji Sahib is the name of the part, the prayer. Japa is the name of the Bani, Ji, Atho, Satkar and Sahib. But uh, Puratan Samidavit Sasan is known as Japa Nisan. That by reciting this Bani, it leaves an Ashani. It leaves a, a, a sign, it leaves something upon us. Not just in this world, but in the next world as well, it leaves an Ashani. Guru Di Nishani. The more of the Guru, the stamp of the Guru is put on the one who has Japji Sahib in their life. In their life sorry. So Guru Harai Sahib explained to the Guru Six that even if you don't understand Gurbani, it has an effect. It has a huge effect. But if you're able to un- understand Gurbani, then the effect is even more. It's much, much more. But at least we can do is listen. Just like in Japji Sahib, part, Sonia, Dukh Paap Kaanas. Nanaka Pagata Sada Vegasa Sonia Dukha Paap Kaanas. Just listening, the effect of that is that Dukha Paap Kaanas. Sare Dukha Te Sare Paap Nivirta Ho Jande Han. Just by listening to what Guru Bani is saying. So let's carry on the Katha Vicha today. Let's see what Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaji, Maaf Kuruji, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj is blessing us with today in the Chauvivi Pauri of. Oankar Bani. So Aram Karanto Pahla, before we start the Katha, we're all going to say Satanam Vai Guru together. And we're going to focus our minds on the Charan of Guru Nandeji Maharaji. So Sadi Sangat Akho, 
सतनाम श्री वाहे गुरु साहिब जी इंगलिश ट्रांसलेन लाइक ब्रेफ breathing but pran is much more deeper than that but simple definition of pran is the life forces that flow through our body pran at the pran vayu so these different life forces allow us to blink allow us to breathe in breathe out they allow us to digest our food move food throughout the body and so many things the most subtlest thing to even the blood flowing through our body as well the guru sahib is saying that inside us there is this gand there is this knot and that knot is of these two things put together and they said that when these two separate khulle ek gand when that gand opens when the knot opens then they say han ji dwara paro ji chija deh khulle ek gand they say sa singh ji when that gand opens when that opens chija deh jo is sharir hai sa singh jo nash ho janda hai this body is destroyed when that gand opens So we hear Sakhi of Mahapurush Guru Six that they can tell when that gand is about to open, and when that opens, then Sahasanga Ji then is very close to them actually leaving their body as well. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj is saying to us that when that happens, when that knot is broken, then it's very close to somebody leaving their body, and then the body becomes destroyed at that time. Hanji. Che ya net dekh ho jag hand. The hand paave phir phir ke. पावे सारी दुनिया में फिर फिर के बाय गोइंग ऑन द होल वर्ल्ड दे सेई द वेल आज इस वन थिंग के छया नित देख हो जग हंड छया नित नित मींस हमेशा ही छया पावे नाशवन दैट दिस होल वर्ल्ड दैट सी अराउंड मी इट्स ऑल गोइंग टू गो नथिंग इज गोइंग टू रिमेन गुरु साहिब जी सेइंग हां जी धूप छाव जे सम कर जाना सो दीस व्हाई नाउ आर जस्ट वर्ड्स व्हाई वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट द गुरु व्हाट गुरुबानी इज सेइंग बट व्हाट डज इट मीन टू अस इफ वी जस्ट लुक एट गुरुबानी गुरुबानी इज नॉट जस्ट वर्ड्स लोग जाने ए हो गीत है ए हो तो ब्रह्म विचार पीपल फिन दैट गुरुबानी इज जस्ट वर्ड्स आर मेंट टू बी संग लोग जाने ए हो गीत है पीपल से दीस आर सॉन्ग्स दीस आर हिम्स वी मेंट टू सिंग इट But Guru Bani says, "Eho to Brahma Bichar." These are the highest utterances of the Guru. This is Brahma Gyan. This is going to give us Brahma Gyan. What does that mean? Very simply, allow us to experience Vai Guru Ji, to meet Vai Guru Ji. So when Guru Sahib is saying, "Tu pa chava," that these two things, J sam kara jane, J kara tu pa te chava, tu pa ve tu pa te chava cha. Tu pa means heat and cha means shade. तू पछाव जे साम कर जाने साम पावे बराबर जान जाने मीन्स जान रहे टू सी दिस टू इज द सेम द गुरु सेज द वन इज एबल टू सी हॉट एंड कूल एज द सेम हाँ जी बंधन काट मुक्त कर आना द ओल दे बंधन ओल दे शैकोज काट दे ओल खट वे ओल दे शैकोज हेड ऑन टू देम इसे बंधन काट मुक्त घर आने फिर सात सिंह जी उन्होंने शरीर रूपी घर वाहगुरु जी आप प्रगट हो जाता है वाहगुरु जी मैनीफेस्ट इन साइड दैम वेन दे ब्रेक दी शैकोज सो वट इज बींग सैड है बिकॉज गुरु सज इज स्पीकिंग अबाउट दिस बॉडी गुरु सज इज स्पीकिंग अबाउट द नफिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग टू रिमेन दिस इन दूप छाव जे सम कर जाने द तुप विच मीनस द हीट एक्सक्यूशिंग हीट विफ यू गंड गो अंडर नीफ ए ट्री and then there's a charm there's a shade we feel cool so there's a difference in feeling one minute we feel happy one minute we feel sad you know when it's hot there's going to be a heat wave soon i think there's a heat wave in europe and i'm sure nobody likes to ever go to india at this time of the year both the gardenia and people complain people like me that go to india can't handle 40 degrees need a fan or ac why well, you go to the pind there's no ac in my house in the pind why right? so they just had the fan blowing a hot air But what is this? What is Guru Sahib saying? During the times of Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Satche Paash Ji, Panjwe Paash Ji, there was a Sikh who paid Kapoor Dev Ji. This comes in uh, Guru Sikh Khandi Pagatamala. 
Right, so Guru Sikhadi Pagatamala, if you look in Pai Guru Dashi's Bani, Pai Guru Dashi is the scribe of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. He's the one that wrote Guru Granth Sahib Ji, the first form of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Pai Guru Dashi Ji wrote about many Guru Sikhs, but they didn't give much of an explanation to who they are. So during the times of Pai Mani Singh Ji, Pai Mani Singh Ji explained who these Guru Sikhs are. Just the name that comes. And one of those names was Pai Samman Ji, and we've got Pai Kapoor Dev Ji. So Pai Kapoor Dev Ji was a Sikh of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. Dekh Den Sa Singh Ji, Pai Kapoor Dev Ji, Maharaj Ji de Paas Aake Bainti Ki Te, they come to the Guru, they do Bainti, they do a humble plea to the Guru, Ke Guru Maharaj Ji, Guru Sikh Khande Darshan Karavo, give me the Darshan, bless me the Darshan of your Guru Sikhs. We ask for every single day, right? We say, say, say Guru Mukh Piyare Melo, Jinnah Melea, we ask for this every single in the Ardas. We say, bless you with the darshan of those Guru Sikhs that by seeing them, I remember your name. Sadi Ardas, this is Ardas the Guru. So, Pai Kapoor Dev Ji goes to Guru Arjun Dev Ji say, Guru Sikhan De Darshan Karava, bless me with the Guru Sikhan De Sangat. Let me have company of those Guru Sikhs. Those uh, that with every single breath they take, they remember you. They remember Vai Guru Ji. The Guru Arjun Dev Ji says to Pai Kapoor Dev Ji that go to one of my six called Pai Samman Ji. Ona de darshan karo. Ate ona de sangat karo. Go and see them and do their sangat as well. When the Pai Kapoor Dev Ji goes to see Pai Samman Ji, this Guru Sikh Pai Samman Ji, that Guru Arjun Dev Ji saying, if you want to see a Guru Sikh, then go and see this Guru Sikh. What are they doing? They're collecting loads of wood, lakriya. They collected so many pieces of wood they made a whole stack of wood. And then, what have they done? They've taken all these chadra. You can imagine here, there's just carpet, but in many guru cards, you have a lot of chitya chadra on the floor. And at the end of them, we have lots of tagge, we have lots of pieces of string. And then what would they do in, if you look in India, for example, they'll tie all those tagge together and then all the kapara sticks together or stays together. Then you have one masid darbar, and there's so many chadra on the floor, or mats, whatever you want to call them. So Sangat can sit down. So what is Pai Sammanaji doing? They're collecting all these different chadra together, and they're tying the knots on the end of them. The gand, you could say as well, right? The knot, so then they're all stuck together. When, when Pai Kapoor Dev Ji comes, they think to himself, this is meant to be a Guru Sikh. Guru Arjan Dev Ji sent me to see a Guru Sikh, and I'm looking at somebody who's collecting wood, and that's just, you know, tying knots. Doesn't sound like much of a Guru Sikh to me. When I read Gurubani, when you look at the word of a Guru Sikh, you, you think of things like Jinnasa, Sagarasana, Visare, Harnama, Manamant. The one with every single sas, every single breath. Garas means every morsel of food. They remember why Guruji. I'm looking at somebody collecting wood and putting, you know, knots in pieces of string to make lots of uh, sheets stay together. Or kapra stay together. So what happens is Pai Kapoor Dev Ji goes to Pai Sammana Ji and they say, what are you doing? What is this calm you are doing? And Pai Sammana Ji says to them that you don't worry about this later on, I'll focus on you. The whole day passes and Pai Sammana Ji with his son, they start to do Kirtan in the evening. Kirtan to Baad Sa Sangha Ji, they rest. They, have, they go to sleep. Pai Kapoor Dev Ji is not convinced at all, right? What happens that night is that many thieves come and they steal the go. The go and they steal the, the cattle of Pai Kapoor, of Pai Sammanaji. So when the thieves come, because obviously today we may not value uh, milk or cow because of, you can see yourself today, what's happening to all. But even in India, many people don't keep, um, you know, cows and bulls anymore because the amount of milk that they produce is not much anymore compared to what it was 10-15 years ago. Why if anybody has any jameen or does kheti bara, obviously I don't, but when I go to India and I see, I might have the title of a caste, but don't even do the gum. Why? Right? It's a bit of a shock. <laughs> anyway, those days, you know, the, the, the worth of, a, of a, the cattle was a lot and what they could yield, the milk was so much as well. So for that reason, by Sammanaji's son and a jatha of people, they go and they find those thieves. When they go to find those thieves at the time, 
The thieves have a gun and they shoot Bhai Sammanaji's son and he dies. Now when Bhai Sammanaji's son dies and Bhai Sammanaji finds out about this, what have they got next to them? They've got all these lakariya, they've got all these pieces of wood. So what does he do with all that wood? He uses it to make their jikhar, to make their funeral pyre. So that same wood, that earlier, Bhai Kapoor there just think to himself that why are they collecting all this wood? All that wood was for this moment to now cremate their own son. And then all those jadara, you could say that on the floor that are being tied up into knots, that was so that when the sad sangha to come, they can sit upon all those sheets, all those chittiya jadara, you can say all those mats. So by Sammanaji you can see the future. Just like how here, if you look at the Shabad, Guru Sahib is saying to us, if you look at the, the first pankti, ke, no, pehli pankti, that when that gand is open, then death is certain, death is going to come. By Sammanaji knew that the sun was going to pass away. They didn't try to stop it. By Sammanaji let it happen. But they were ready to carry out the Antam Sanskar. So what does this mean? What is This is Gurbani in action. Gurbani being lived through a Gurusik. Toop achav je sam kar jane. Toop top chav cha. Pave duk ate sok. Harak te sog. Sam kar jane. To see them both as the same. By Sammanji didn't see a difference in either of the scenarios. By Sammanji knew what was going to happen and they're ready for that moment when the sun was going to pass away. That person has no shackles to this world. That person has no attachment even to their own son. They are liberated. They have no attachment. They have broken their shackles of attachment. Because inside their heart sits the Guru. Guru Arjan, they just sat inside by Sammanji. So by Sammanji had nothing to worry about. Because they saw no difference. They realized that that nothing is going to remain. Everything is going to be destroyed. Nothing is going to stay. So when this happens, and Pai Sammanji's son passes away, Pai Kapoor Devji realizes the avastha of Pai Sammanji. Avastha means their spiritual state. The Pai Kapoor Devji says to Pai Sammanji, why didn't you stop this? Why didn't you do Ardas to Guru Arjan Devji for a lammi umar, for a long age for your son? Why didn't you do this Ardas? And what did Pai Sammanji say? He said that only an ignorant person would ask for this body to live longer. Now when I use the word ignorant, I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way, because I appreciate that when death comes, it can be very hard. But what they mean by ignorant here is not realizing the full picture that this is just another part, another journey that the soul needs to go on, just another piece of clothing, another body that is, that is stuck inside. But to say the Atma, the soul continues anyway. The Atma has no age. Now Jamada hai, now Marda hai. The Atma does not take birth. And the Atma does not die. The body is born, the body comes, the body goes. But the Atma, the soul that sits inside this vessel, that does not take birth and that does not die. And that soul has no father, has no mother. Na koi pita hai, has no mother, it has no father. Na putter hai, neither is it a son. But we say that I'm a son of somebody or daughter or I'm a father or mother. But the Atma doesn't have these titles. The body is given these titles. But the Atma is beyond this. And this is what Pai Sammaniji is trying to explain. Being a Gurusik, the Avasthava Gurusik, the Nehekecha Janame, Nehekecha Mare, Apana Charita, Apahi Kare. Comes in Siddhi Sukhuni Sahib, Nehekecha Janame. Nothing takes birth. Nehekecha Mare. Nothing dies. Apana charat aap hi kare. Chalit he means the kautak, the place of Vai Guruji. That Vai Guruji's kid, Apana charat aap hi kare. Vai Guruji themselves allows anything to happen. It's all their kid. Janam ate maran. But the Guru say that these things don't exist in that person's life. So what happens now? 
is by someone who is explaining this to them. Now, really, I don't have a mother, I don't have a father. The Atma. Obviously, we live, I'm not saying don't abandon your family, but it's saying go beyond, realize that these people are not going to stay. Jehemat pita sutmit na pai man uha naam tere sang sahai. The way there's no mata, jehemat pita father, sut son, meet sut pai, brothers, man uha. They're saying, hey, mere mana uha pave othe, pave os samede vich. In that moment, man uha naam tere sang sahai, only Vai Guruji's name is going to be our support. Kar dar phir tha ki bahutere. Jat Asankha Ant Nehi Mere Kete Maat Pita Sutatiya Kete Gur Chele Fun Hua Kache Gur Te Mukta Na Hua Comes in this Bani of Oankar Bani beforehand They say Ke Kar Dara Phir Tha Ki Boho Tere That I've gone from one Kar From one house Dar means Do Kar Dara Phir Tha Ki Boho Tere I've gone from one place to another place From one body to another body Tha Ki Boho Tere Thaki means thak gya, I'm so tired. Jat asankh, aginat hi jat. Jat means caste, jat path. From one body to next body, from being a high caste, being a low caste. Jat asankh, ant nahi mere. But it never finishes. Kete, maat pita, sutatiya. I've been a mom many times. I've been a, this is not the first time that we have been a mother, saying on the Bibia side. Or father on the Singh side, Kete Mat Pita Sutatiya, been a son, a daughter many times. Kete Gurachele Funuhua, to be a leader, to be a, a, a servant. Kete Gurachele Funuhua, Kache Gurte Mukhtanahua, Kete Nadvare Eka Samal. But they say, in essence, remember this one thing the Guru says Kete Nad. Keti Nar means, Keti means many, many Nar Pave. Rarate Sahari Lagia, there's a, there's a Sahari in the Rara, which makes into, in this respect, Nari. Keti Nar. We've been, we are, Nari means a female. Keti Nar Var Ekasamal. That we are all so brides, and there's one Var, there's one Pati Parmeshar, there's one Vai Guruji. And we are all the wives of that Vai Guruji. Right? We are all married to that one Vai Guruji. Keti Narvare Eka Samal. Guru Sahib Ji Karane, the saying to us. And that is the essence. We are the soul brides. It's just an analogy. Don't look too deep into it. Just understand the analogy that we are the soul brides and that there's one Pati Paramesha, there's one husband, Lord, Vai Guruji. And our aim is to reunite back with that Vai Guruji. So this is what Pai Kapoor ji, learn from Pai Sammana ji, the vastha of a Guru Sikh, because that was his Ardas, why? That, let me have darshan of a Guru Sikh. So when we go to the Guru and we say, ke Guru Sikh had the darshan karavo, Guru Sikh had the sangat bhaksho, what are we looking for? What are we expecting? Guru Mukh Maya Vich Odasi. The Guru Mukh today is the one that lives in the world, but is detached from the world. They work in this world, they live in a Grish Jeevan. Grish Jeevan means a house or his life. The recommended way of life for a Sikh from Pai Guru Dashi's Bani is a ke sakala tarame hai, grihist, grist pardan hai. That Grish Jeevan is the greatest way to live, the most recommended way to live, to live in the world. But what were we expecting to see? What was Pai Kapoor Devji trying to see? Just somebody who looks the part, those Gurumukhs today, they are so hidden, they're all around us, but we just don't see them. Those Gurumukhs are those ones who come and have darshan of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji in the morning, in the evening. If you look at the Rayatanami, the Rayatanami say that two times in the day, come and see Guru Granth Sahib Ji. But there's other Rayatanami. Rayatanami very simply mean like instructions to the Guru Sikhs. Some Rayatanami even say, Tinwari, three times in a day, come and see Guru Gan Sahib Ji. If we are so lucky to have Guru Gan Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji on our doorstep, not so far from where we are, here in West London, we've got Guru Gan Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji Sarubhs everywhere. We're so blessed 
We can have darshan. We drive past a god that is Sahib probably every single day. But do we go inside and see our Guru? Do we do namaskar to our Guru? Do we matha take to our Guru? Do we bala fateh to our Guru? When we come in front of our Guru, what do we say to Guru Granth Sahib? Do we say hello? Or do we say Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh? How do we greet our Guru? When we look at our Guru, what do we see? Do we just see nice Ramallah Sahibs and a book underneath? Or do we see Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj sitting on that throne? Do we speak and treat our Guru in the same way? So Guru Maharaj here, Guru Arjun Dev Ji, blesses by Kapoor Dev Ji with the darshan of Guru Sikh. And that Guru Sikh, Guru Mukhamaya Vich Udasi. Dunya Vich Rendehan, they live in this world, but they are Udas. Udas means they are detached from this world. But they live amongst all of us. And they teach us the way that we should live our lives as well. How can we become Mukta as well? By doing their Sangat. So it doesn't mean we can't have a normal 9 to 5 job and not gain Mukti. Because many Guru Sikhs, including by Sammanaji, even during the times of Guru Arjun, they just showed us that we can still gain that gift of Mukti if you follow the Guru Sikhya. And then, tu pa chav je sam kar jane. Then, wherever there's duk or suk, tu pe meaning and top heat, that inadvertently will give us duk, or chav pa ve cha shade, which will give us suk. They say that person sam kar jane, they don't see no difference. They see them as the same. Bandana kaata mukta kar ane, and that person has no shackles. Nothing is holding that person down, and kar ane, and inside their heart, Sits Vai Guru Ji Hanji. Chaya Chuchi Jagat Pulana. And they say Chaya Chuchi. Pave jo is Tuch Maya hai Saad Singh Ji. This Maya is Tuch. Tuch hai means insignificant. In our lives, when we look around us, everything seems significant. Everything seems so important to us. That is important. That is important. I need to do this. I need to do that. But that thing that takes us away from Vai Guruji, that is Maya. And Guru Bani is saying, Ke chaya chuchi, that that is insignificant. It is not important. But what does that Maya do? Jagato Polana. Polana means to be lost. Now what does Maya do? It sends everybody into this whirlwind. Shakes our whole life up. Makes things go crazy. We have no idea what to do. Chaya chuchi jagato Polana hanji. But just like by Sammanaji, they understood this one thing, Likhya Kirta Tore Paravana. Tore means Modito. From the origin, from the star, Likhya Kirta. Jo Sada Lekha Sa Singhji, our accounts, our destiny, it is written. Paravana very simply means as accepted, it's going to happen. And by Sammanaji realized that actually their son was going to go. They had, no, they had no say in it. But they didn't come to Vaiguru Jinu Benti to let this person live for longer because they realized that actually why am I doing Ardas or something that's not going to remain? Chaya Chuchi. This body is not going to remain. This illusion I see around me is not going to stay. Jagatopalana. And it puts us in this bottom, in this doubt that we think is going to remain. Likya Kirta Tore Paravana. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. What does a Guru Sikh do? They live in the Guru's hukam. They live in the Guru's will. And they see that as good. They see whatever the Guru is doing is for their own pala. But the Guru is talking to us in many aspects. All the time the Guru is speaking to us. If there's a, a time of dis-ease that comes, like you, I didn't realize this, probably heard it many years ago, that disease, it's like my own magic moment in my head. Dis-ease, you guys get it? Felt so proud of myself working that out. Now, if we ever feel like at a time of this ease, don't look at that as a negative. Look at that as the Guru giving us a message, the Guru telling us something. The Guru says that wherever I look, everybody has anxiety, everybody has worries. These say means to see. Sabako, it means everybody I look at, everybody's worried. Everybody's got something they're worrying about. But they say, what is the solution? Jeta hai eka, 
ਤੇ ਹੀ ਸੁਖ ਹੋਏ ਚੇਤ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਪਰ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰਿੰਗ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਹੀ ਸੁਖ ਹੋਏ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਫਾਈਂਡਸ ਅ ਸੁਖ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਫਾਈਂਡਸ ਪੀਸ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਫ ਬਿਕਾਸ ਦੇ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੈਂਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਦਾ ਪੀਸ ਦਾ ਕਮਸ ਦਾ ਇਸ ਅਨਐਕਸਪਲੇਨੇਬਲ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਠੀਕ ਜੈ ਜੋ ਬਨ ਜਰਵਾ ਸਿਰ ਕਾਲ ਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਠੀਕ ਜੈ ਜੋ ਬਨ ਜੋ ਜਵਾਨੀ ਹੈ ਸਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਜਵਾਨੀ ਦਾ ਸਮਾਂ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਯੂਥ ਠੀਕ ਜੈ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਨ ਵਾਈ ਮੇਬੀ ਮੋਸਟ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਨਾਓ no in my jawani anymore can't play football seven times a day because i play one day and i'm aching or whatever it is why if i hurt my knee it's not going to recover in two days it might take a few weeks tell you my own state now why it takes ages for me to recover my back hurts it's going to be like that for a whole week probably tj jobana say now this youth that we were so proud of that we lived in when we lived in this youth we all know ourselves when we know jawani chaya chuti jagat palana we are completely lost in our youth we don't think about we have no worries playing our computer games watching tv till 2 o'clock in the morning we got shuttiya we got summer holiday 6 weeks off do what everyone nothing to worry about but the guru is saying that one day that time is going to go and if we ever blessed or we older to come into sikhi to understand the how price the sikhis we're going to think i wish i did that when i was younger i wish i did my santhya when i was younger when i had time now i'm married i got kids now i got no time how can do pachi vari abhyas what does that mean to practice our lesson 25 times try to do it one time chije joban that the youth has gone that time where i could have sat and has so much energy my energy was not all over the place stuck in worries of the world work family when i was younger my only worry was was my win streak or kill streak in a computer game that was my biggest worry to beat my friend in a computer game that was what we worried about when we were younger right that was the biggest worry am i going to get the remote control before my brother or sister comes in the room and takes it off me did i record my tv show that was what we worried about but the guru says chaya chuchi jagat upalana this what is this maya done is made us we lost we so lost that one day we realized ke chije joban that now my youth has gone chha chije joban jadwa sir kal jadwa which most of us are probably not him get into means bodde pevich in old age sir kal ਪਾਵੇ ਸਾਸ ਇੰਜ ਬੁਡੇਪੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਕਾਲ ਹੈ ਮੌਤ ਹੈ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿਟਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਟੌਪ ਆਫ ਅ ਹੈਡ ਸਿਰ ਕਾਲ ਦ ਡੈਫ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਟੂ ਫਾਰ ਅਵੇ ਨਾ ਸਿਰ ਕੰਪਿਓ ਪਗ ਡਗ ਮਗੈ ਨੈਨ ਜੋਤ ਤੇ ਹੀਨ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸੇਸ ਦਾ ਵੈਨ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਗੈ ਔਰ ਸਿਰ ਕੰਪਿਓ ਮਾਈਂਡਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਐਨੀਮੋ ਪਗ ਡਗ ਮਗੈ can't walk for play anymore we see with our elders right with our grandparents nana jot tehin can't see properly i lost my sight when i was in well, i didn't lose my sight but already eye starts starts to go for me is when i was in year 7 fathers when they get older then can't see as great as we used to guru sab saying chijina jobana jadwa sirkal the what happens death comes and sits on top of our head jo din aave hai so din jahi ਕਰਨਾ ਕੂਚ ਰਹਿਨ ਥਿਰ ਨਾਹੀ ਸੰਗ ਚੜਤ ਹਮ ਪੀ ਚੜਨਾ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਵਾਟਸ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਪਨ ਸੰਗ ਚੜਤ ਹਮ ਪੀ ਚੜਨਾ ਦਾ ਐਵਰੀਬੋਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਨ ਓ ਮਾਈ ਸੰਗੀਸ ਸਾਥੀ ਆਈ ਵਰ ਦਾ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਕੀਪ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਵਿਦ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਗੋਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਆਮ ਗੋਨ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗੁਰ ਬਾਨੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਗੁਰ ਬਾਨੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵੇਕਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਅਪ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਡੈਫ a topics that we don't like to speak about but guru bani is saying ke kya tu soya jaage aana kya tu soya saying why are you asleep for why are we asleep jaag e aana yaana means fool te jeevan jag sach kada jaana 
so that we see this world as the truth. We see what we're doing as so important, but one day will it hold that importance? But we think to ourselves that, why did I spend so much time doing that? Or even more, why didn't I just do that? Why didn't I invest my time in that? Or why can't I stop doing this? Why can't I stop spending time scrolling through my feeds? Why can't I sit down and do a Japji Sahib with full Tian? Why don't I open a Gurtga Sahib and do Sukhuni Sahib? But I don't want to do that. My mind does that sounds long. Sitting there for one hour with my legs crossed, doing part. How is that ever gonna happen? By doing Guru Sikha Disambi. By coming into the Sharan of Guru Granth Sahib Maharaj by doing company of those Guru Sikhs, having that Shubh Itcha Lai Pai Kapoor Dev Ji had to go and spend time with Pai Sammana Ji. They Pai Sammana Ji Di Sangat Karke, they realize what is that Vasthava Guru Sikh. The Vasthava Guru Sikh is that even if death comes in front of they see death, they accept it. Pahela Marna Kubu, we've heard these lines before in Katha, they've already accepted death. Jeevan Ki Chada As, they have no desire to live. They become the dust of everybody. They're filled with so much humility. that They're not afraid of death. Death does not come near them. So Guru Sahib is saying that This is going to be destroyed. What it means is that why Guruji pulls out that Chetanta. Chetanta means the life forces that sit inside us. When they pull out those life forces that keep us active, keep us moving, that keep the energy flowing through us, Pai Sabal. Sabal here means the algae. When water is moving and flowing, that water stays pure. Look at a river, for example. If the water is flowing nice and fast, the water is going to stay pavitar. If you look at a tala, if you look at a lake, that lake generally, especially in the UK, a lot of the rivers as well, by the way, they're just still. And what sits on top of the water? Algae. Lots of dirt. And in the same way they're saying to us, the Vaigoji kitchens where they take out all that life force that sits inside us. Like we said at the start of the Shabbat, when Guru Sahib talked about this gand, that is inside of us. And they said, that when that pran, those life forces are taken away, then there's nothing, nothing is moving in the body and he becomes still, he becomes the algae and that person becomes dust. That person becomes that mitti and they leave this body, Hanji. The Guru Sadhu says, that all three worlds, so then all three worlds, then the loy. They say that Japa Aap Prabhu Tehloy. That Tinna Loka Devit Sar sings you all three worlds. Everybody is reciting God's name. It's not just us on earth. Gurbani is saying that even the higher worlds and lower worlds, Tarta Akas Patal Hai Meri Jinduriya, that all these different worlds. Sabha, everybody, Har Har Namati Abhiram. They're all saying Har. They're all saying Vahiguru. They're all reciting God's name. So Guru Sahib is saying, who's the one who's inspiring them? Vai Guruji themselves is inspiring us to say their name. Vai Guruji themselves is putting that Guru's mantra on our tongue inside our heart, Hanji. Joga, Joga Data, Avarana Koe. Just like we read in Japji Sada part, Joga Jugantara, Kahi Kahi. Can all the yugs, in every single jug, why Guruji is giving the juga jugantar the kahi kahi? What do we do? We take from the Guru. De da de, la de, thakapa hai. Why Guruji is always giving? La de, la de, we take. And we get tired of taking. Juga jugantar the kahi kahi. We keep on taking and taking and taking from the Guru. Juga juga data, avar na koi. Sabana jiya ka ik data so mein visar na jai. There's only one giver. There's only one data. That is Prabhu Parameshwar Vai Guruji Hanji. Jyo paave tyo rakh hai rakh. Jyo paave. 
ਪਾਵੇ ਪਾਵੇ ਸਾਸ ਜੀ ਪਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਵਟ ਐਵਰ ਪਲੀਜ਼ਸ ਯੂ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਰੱਖ ਹੈ ਰੱਖ ਹਾਵ ਐ ਪਲੀਜ਼ਸ ਯੂ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟ ਮੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਆਵਰ ਦਾਸ ਤੇ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਵੇਅਰ ਯੂ ਪੁਟ ਮੀ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਦੇ ਵੇਅਰ ਦਾਸ ਫਿਜ਼ਿਕਲੀ ਸਰੀਰਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਪਾਵੇ ਸਾਸ ਜੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੇਅਰ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਈ ਨਾ ਵੇਅਰ ਆਵਰ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਸਟੇ ਵੇ ਇਨ ਅ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੈਸ ਪੋ ਆਸ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਵਟ ਐਵਰ ਪਲੀਜ਼ਸ ਯੂ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਕਾਰਨ ਦੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਵਾਈ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਜੋ ਭਾਵ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਰਾਖ ਹੈ ਰਾਖ ਅਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਵਟ ਐਵਰ ਮੇਕਸ ਮਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੈਪੀ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਸਟੇ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖ ਪਾਇ ਸਮਨ ਜੀ ਨੋ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਬਟ ਪਾਇ ਸਮਨ ਜੀ ਸ਼ੋ ਦਸ ਦਾ ਦੈਮ ਸਾਉਸ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਭਾਵ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਰਾਖ ਹੈ ਰਾਖ ਮਾਰੇ ਰਾਖ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਓਨਲੀ ਵਨ who mare te rakhe tis bin dusra avar na koi there is nobody else but them only vai guru ji is the one who is taking life and who is giving life jo paave te o rakhe hai rakh han ji jas jacha deva pat sakh so if we could go to guru granth sahib ji mar ji we could do one, one ardas what would be the ardas what ardas means that humble plea you could say that prayer jas jacho jas jacho jachak jan jache prabhadan jachak jan jache prabhadan te guru sahib ji give us this blessing to give us your naam te we read after saad jina ki ma ga tur ke santa di charan turi baksho bless us with the charan turi of those guru six as well so just ja chau deve pat sak with that honor that is gained in this world and the next world from the one who sings your praises magna magna nika har jas guru te magna the figna also something from the guru magna magna nika what should we ask what is the best thing to ask from the guru har jas gurte magna to ask for the gurus jas to be able to praise the guru all the time this should be our bounty to guru gan sahib ji maharaj ji han ji jagat jag raha tud paava te guru sikha di sangat baksho jagat those that are awake jagat because us we are asleep tai maharaj ji keh rahe ne ke ta kya tu soya why we sleep for they say by doing sankirtan to those that are jagat those that are awake then they say jagat jag phir assi vi jag de hande we wake up as well when we do sankirtan to those that are awake that are not asleep in this chaya chuchi jagat to palana who are not asleep in this illusion when we do their sankirtan jagat jag raha to da bhava when you are pleased by guru ji i'm blessed to their sangat and then i wake up as well then we are blessed to wake up as well the whole lives you go through and nothing made sense sikhi didn't make sense to us we can be born in a sikh parivar punjabi parivar go to the godara sahib har aitwar we can go every sunday to the godara sahib do darshan matha tek listen to kirtan for 5 minutes have prasad go have langar and go home for 10 15 20 years many of us have done that but nothing's changed but when the guru das kirpa jagat jag raha todh bhava todh bhava when it pleases you then for some reason one day everything changes i listen to katha in punjabi english i, I listen to the guru sikhya and i wake up because i listen to somebody that was awake somebody who seen the truth and that woke me up as well like a light that sits in somebody then lights other people aap jap ho avare naam japav ho paave aap naam japde han te hor na nu ve naam japonde han they themselves will cite god's name and they inspire others to cite god's name because they are awake there's a pankti that comes in gurbani i probably get around to say it's along the lines of gurumukh jage need na sove the gurumukh so always awake are they never asleep they always awake to the maya that could be attacking them they never fall asleep hanji ja 
when the guru allows us to meet them when the guru allows us to sit in sad sangata ta tujhe samava samava means uh, to sama to be absorbed in to be to become one with the guru you say when you allow me to come into your sad sangata then ta tujhe samava then i'm absorbed in you then there no longer remains just an individual there no longer remains a munna i was a munna once had my you know cut hair nice different types of trends haircuts v cut all these kind of things get the fringe all that kind of stuff going right back in the day sings laughing at me right do my bestie but there's one thing that happens when you do sangat of guru six it's very contagious and you won't stay a munna or munni then you start to keep your kiss and you be blessed with the gurus amr dida that is the blessings doing santa di sangat saad sangat de guru guru sikhan di sangat that person who didn't think they fall in love with sikhi they are fall in love with sikhi and they never fall out of love with sikhi just by staying in the sangat of those gurumukhs those who have so much love for guru nanak ji sikhi when they living it the day them souls become absorbed in that sikhi as well hanji jai jai kar japo jagdish and then guru sahib says jagdish pave jagat de malik wahi guru ji japo the all the time they do this one jap they do this recitation again jai jai kar they keep on singing wahi guru ji's praises all the time and they don't want to keep it to themselves they will tell everybody about this sikhi that this sikhi is priceless and that we are so blessed to have sikhi in our lives so don't waste it kar dar fir tha ki bahut tere ta have gone from one house to the other i've seen every single home but there's no great home in the home of guru nanak dev ji han ji gurmat miliye 20 21 so akili pankti de vich guru nanak dev ji maur ji kathan karde han ke gurmat miliye ke guru gurmat pave guru di sikhya rahi through the guru's teachings gurmat miliye 20 21 So in English we have one hundred percent, right? Ten out of ten. But what Guru Bani is teaching us is another type of numbering system, which is bees. Bees means twenty. So when something is twenty out of twenty, it means a hundred percent. And Guru Sahib Ji is saying here, that person who lives in this entire world, there's one thing missing in their life, and that's ekisa. Ekis means twenty-one. and in that ekis is one thing and that is ek parameshwar that we can have everything in this world if we don't have that one parameshwar then we are nothing and that is what the guru gives to us gurumat through the guru sikhya we gain that one parameshwar where that one parameshwar we can have everything else but as you know in japji sa pukhya pukh na utri je banna puriya par we can have everything in this world we can have that 100% but pukhya pukh na utri je even if banna puriya par get up all the way of this world every all the padarth of this world without vai guru ji's name we have nothing that is what guru nanak ji finishes off with today's katha vichar so in your beinte parwan karne asas ji maaf kar ji many mistakes made in the katha vichar in arth gurbani go for the sakya the jab ji sahab course is starting about 10 minutes upstairs in the second darbar before you go to langar hall on your right hand side you see stairs going upstairs if you want to learn more about guru nanak dev ji's bani of japji sahib then you can come and check out the english course it's been running from the start of the year so please go the mistakes made deho sajjana si sariya jo hove sahib so mel ja ja kar japo jagdish gurmat miliye 20 21 wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Waheguru ji ka khalsa, Waheguru ji ki fateh. Waheguru wahe